How do you all so much radio? And we are back again. Um, except we are not inside a tiny basement. We uh, escaped to the outside world and went to farm. As you can clearly see, there's moo cows doing uh, moo cow things over there. Um, it's the holidays, so I've decided to escape away from the city. Um, and in between doing, doing my day job, the farm work, and other random assault tasks, I have decided that I'm adding another regiment to my guard army. You've heard me? I'm another regiment. I know it's a terrible idea or a bad idea. It's probably not even a good idea in general, but I have acquired several things of Kill Team Octarius, and by several I mean way too many because they won't sell at a local game store. And I'm also going to do another terrible idea. I'm going to try using oil paints, preferably shrieking grime. So this is going to go really, really good or really, really bad. So uh, stick around and let's show you the demo model. So uh, fast forward to the future of me and let's know how this went. So for my test model on the first one I did, I think it went pretty well. Um, it, it was grimy, but that was the point I was going for with the shrieking grime. Um, I did not do the eyes or the light above the magazine because I wasn't showing the color at the time, but as I did some more of them and some research, I figured out what went well. So as I said earlier, these are the creek, all 18 of them. So I bought two boxes of Octarius, which should have given me 20 models. I used one as a demo, which we'll show you in a second, and I lost one. But so I originally, originally I made this for the kill team, but now I'm going to go from kill team to my regular Krieg army because I pretty much uh, moved on to another unit with kill team. So I decided to make a squad here, and I have eight specialists. Uh, plasma, Medic, Sniper, Sniper, Grenade, Flamer, Combo, Com Dude, I think? And the close Combo Specialist. I forget what the technical names on the book. But those are the 18 plus the one painted one. So I'll give more kits as I can find them, or GW eventually decides <coughs> to sell them <coughs> individually. So you have to pay up oh, sure, and email prices, cough, cough. Now for the painting, um, I'm going to show you the painted model and talk about it more in detail in a minute, but I use 13 colors plus the mineral spirit. So I use 14 different things for this model. I'm sticking with the policy of KISS. Keep it simple or stupid with these. Because my last set of miniatures I started, the Acadians, um, I ended up using 27, I think about 30 different colors now because I added some stuff to them. With this, it's 13 colors. Simple. Five base colors, an enamel wash, which is my first time using an enamel, and then three things for dry brush, two things for the base, and then uh, the rim. So again, KISS, keep it simple or stupid. So I went down to the farm and I got super, super lucky one day while I was down there. Uh, we had the day, it was like 70 degrees and zero humidity. So I was able to go outside in the barn and prime. I actually filmed that, but my barn is so dark, you couldn't see anything. So sorry about that. But um, after that, these kind of lived in my car. I was bouncing back between the farm and the city. And uh, while I was in the city one day, I was debating, I guess you could say, on the color scheme. I was talking to some people. And I ended up going with the early World War I French, uh, with the red pants, blue jacket. Because I looked online, I, didn't, I saw a lot of darker stuff, I saw some cool camo cane schemes, but I just wanted something that's going to stand down and pop on the table. And also I wanted to, I say push myself, because this is the first time I'm using enamel paints too, so I wanted to try a whole new color scheme, because a lot of my guard are just green. Or they're all solid one color things, so I wanted to, you know, you know try something new. And with that, I also got a little bit bold, and as you saw a minute ago, and you can see some of the weapons, they have the, all the weapons have this yellowish tan. Uh, that's supposed to be, that's full of wood, but I want something bright that's going to contrast well with the dark muted colors. Because once you put the uh, the wash on there, the enamel wash, it, uh, it gets a little grimy. I want something to pop. I want you to look at the models and just see one big kind of just darkness, if that makes sense. So I actually ended up uh, pulling some gold into this. So I have the five base colors, the black, the red, the blue, the silver, and the uh, the wood color. But I ended up wanting to add a gold to pull out a lot of the details on this model. Some of the eagles, the belt buckles, the buttons, and some other knickknacks. Because as you can see, these models are super detailed, especially compared to the Forge Wood Brethren, which I have many of the Forge Wood Creek. I've actually painted them, I just happen to own a lot of them. 
these I think are better in pretty much every aspect compared to the Resin Krieg, which is kind of cool and kind of sad, but you'll see those in later videos as I pull them out. So after the gold, I did the red for the eyes and the green for the gun, and then I slathered that crap on. I took the enamel, I shook it up, and I lathered it. There was a lot of ways I saw to do it, a lot of recommendations, airbrush, stuff like that, but I just figured my first time, I was going to paint on. Wax on, wax off. Took those Q-tips, then I took all the extra bits off. The only issue I found with Q-tips is that if you had some cheaper Q-tips, uh, you did leave little bits of cotton behind, which is kind of annoying. So after letting uh, the shooting gram dry for about 24 hours, um, they came out actually pretty well. So this is an example model of the close combat specialist. But there was one slight issue, so you can kind of see that the left knee is kind of shiny. And this is something I know but I forgot about, is that uh, this stuff wipes off. So what I'm going to have to do is once I'm done painting, I'm going to have to purely seal it. So already I was just messing with it. And uh, that shiny part of the knee is me wiping off the shooting grime. So let's uh, get to painting them. And after that we can do some purity seals. And then we can call it, well, almost done. So... After it dried, I actually left them for about three days to dry. I ended up being busy with work and life and farm chores. But once they dried, I went back and I dry brushed them. I dry brushed the red for the pants and a lighter blue for the jacket. And the escape and light danger, I believe it was, for the black on the leather. Which helped everything pop and gave them more depth and brought out some of the, uh, the edges on the model. So after that, I ended up using uh, one of the Citadel colors to base it with, the paint on base material, which I love that stuff, especially going for the uh, trench look and the dirty, grimy look. I ended up packing a little bit too much on there, but I felt that was okay because if you're running through mud, you're gonna get your boots covered in dirty. After that, I let it dry, which just took a long time to dry. Um, I ended up just basically dousing in Reichland. And then called it a day from there. So these guys are done. Um, I have finally finished. It took me about a week and a half or so worth of painting. Um, you know, not not like you know, week and a half of painting, but you know, it took me a week and a half in my free time. Um, this came out super well. I really enjoyed the oil paints. And I think I'm going to use them from that one because the oil paints feel kind of like a cheat, kind of, I guess. That's, that's not really the best way to explain it, but it, uh, it's a, you know, it's a quick step and it does a lot of good. So, but now these are done, I do have to go purely seal them, uh, use some type of sealant, so, just so they'll rub off. Uh, so, this is boys and girls, we are done. So let's go purely seal them and then we can get all the uh, fancy shots and show you how they all look completed. Here they are in all the splendid glory. I have the 10 man squad and then I have the other 19 models with them. I want some more but I have to wait till GW saw selling the kits but I like how they turned out. I was very impressed with myself so I'm still learning so I'm trying new techniques and I think doing another couple of squads will perfect them and then I'll do some vehicles. Because I want some Krieg vehicles. I'm thinking some Macariuses and some other Bane Blades for them. But um, if you want to see some more close-up photos, I'll have my Instagram link down below. and You can see them there. Here's my Krieg and the Captain and their Splendid Glory. We have all 19 of them. We have the one ten man squad. And we have the rest of the other special weapons and other characters. So once UW actually releases the kits, I'll get some more of them and fill this um, whole shelf, hopefully a, n a whole cabinet up. So uh, this is my quote unquote YouTube cabinet. In here we have the platoon of the Cadians, and then down here we have the shotgun vets, the Ogren, and the tankers. And a little sneak peek, um, up here I have a Griffin mortar and a Chimera, which I'm going to use for the Krieg. And a bunch of other random bits. So uh, this was the Rogue Trader. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you all on the flip side.